and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my ColourPop Lippy Stick Collection um, with two of their Ultra Satin lips as well. Um, as I'm doing the video, I'm going to go ahead and swatch them right here just so you can see like a live swatch of them. I would put them on my mouth, but it's kind of too many to be putting on my mouth, so I'm just going to stick with what I'm wearing on my lips. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and jump in on this. First I'm going to start with the nudes and work over the reds and then the purples. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the, um, I'm going to do like the really pinky ones. And then the two ultra satin lips. Okay. Alright, so, <laughs> kind of had a little situation. I thought I pressed the record button when I came back and I kind of didn't. And I already swatched a few of them. So let's go back over them. Okay, the first one is BFF, which is like a peachy, um, peachy, glossy finish. Okay, that was the first one. I forgot to show you what it looks like. Looks like that. It's super pretty, pretty much goes with almost anything. Um, she Bad, which is Matt X formula. It's like the standard, extremely nude, um, color. That's that second one right here. Um, I don't know, you have to be really careful with this color because if you um, put like one or two layers on, it seems to look like really cakey and just pretty much like you put 10 layers on. Um, even when I put on a primer underneath it, it still seemed to do the same thing. Um, that might not be how it is for everybody, that's how it was for me. Um, the next one was Cookie, which was my favorite matte that I have from the ColourPop collection of Lippy Sticks. And it's just like this nice pretty nude. It looks darker than She Bad, but when you actually swatch it on the arm, it's just a smidge bit lighter. And this is the matte finish, not the matte X. Um, the next one that I have on my arm is Aquarius, which is one of Kathleen Lights' collabs with ColourPop. Um, and it's another nude, but it's like, I don't know, it has more of like a lighter mauve under undertone to it. It's super pretty, and it's this one right here. The next one was Razor, which is a matte finish, and it just looks like this. It's like a pinky nude color. And just swatch like that. I know all three of these look really similar. And this looks like a darker version of Cookie. Um, a more like reddish pinky version of uh, Cookie. Um, um, next we have Brink, which is a matte, um, matte finish. This is also like a mauve nude color. I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch that. It looks a little bit similar to Razor, except it's a little bit darker. Alright, next we have Lumiere, which is another one of Kathleen's collabs. Um, it is a matte finish. And this is like a mauve um, nude. Almost has like a mauve slash purple undertone. It's super pretty. Super, super pretty. I think if you're too scared to wear like a full on purple lipstick, I think this would be a good option for you. Because it's not super purple, but it's got like, it's like a hint of purple pretty much. It probably looks more purple in the camera than it does in, um, like, in real life, but it's really pretty. Next we have Topanga, which is a satin finish, and this is just really, um, it's one of the really pinky ones. Let me go ahead and swatch that. It's extremely pink. I think to me this almost looks like a darker version of like a uh, Barbie pink. It's really pretty though. Okay. Oops. Next, I'm gonna take Rocket, which is a satin finish, and it's like a really pink color. 
So it's like that. See, there we go. That this is a really pretty pink. And the colors are so pigmented, like none of these swatches have been like really splotchy at all. Okay, next we have Punky, which is also a satin finish. And it's pretty much the darker, um, darker than the other one. It might swatch a little bit lighter though. Because some of them, it looks a little bit darker on the actual like color part right here. And then when you put it on, it's sometimes lighter. Let's see? What's, what's that one? Yeah, this one's a little bit darker. Just a little bit darker, not too big of, big of a difference. And it's more of like a hot pink too, not like a softer, bright pink, if that makes any sense. Um, this is crochet, and this is a sheer finish. Um, this is a really pretty pink color. It's just really subtle. It's not super crazy or super like pigmented like these ones are. Um, but it's a really pretty pink. Um, next, I'm going to be doing Barely There, which is a matte X finish. Once again, another really pretty pink. Just so. Okay. This is like hot pink in your face. Really pretty. Really pretty pink. It's like really pretty. Okay. This is the last pink one that I have. The other ones. It's orange, reds, and purples. This one's Toucan, which is matte finish. It's another really pretty bright pink. And it's just a little bit darker than Barely There. But I think out of all the pinks though, Barely There is one of my favorite um, pinks. Okay, okay. All right, now we're moving on to the oranges. This one is Chi Chi, which is a matte finish. And it just looks like the standard, like, really pretty orange. I don't know, there's not really any other words I can use for that. See, it's just a normal standard color orange. Maybe like a red orange kind of color. Excuse me. Alright, next one I've got Cliche. Yeah, and it's our matte finish. It's another reddish orange color. It's really pretty. I said matte, yeah. This one's just a little bit more red than um, Chi Chi. It's more red than orange red, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, next, I have Generation X, but it's spelled with a J and not a G. Um, this is a matte X formula. This is just a really pretty, pretty much like a, I don't know, it's like a date night kind of red. Maybe like a little bit lighter than that. It's really pretty. I know I've probably said that about all of them by now. Yeah. You see, it's like a really pretty, just gorgeous red. Next, we've got Love Life, which is a matte X finish. And it's a more deeper red than the last one. Really pretty. Oh, next one. Next one is Bossy, which is a matte finish. It's an even deeper red. <laughs> just looks like that. I know you're probably thinking, how many 
does this girl have? Let's just say I have at least 20. One, two, three. I have about 26 lippies and two ultra satin lips. So I might have to move them like over here at some point, maybe. I don't know, we'll find out. Did I just watch this one already? No, I didn't. Okay. See, so this is like a, like a really pretty like cherry red, almost like, Okay, that's like a true date night red. Super pretty, darker than the last one, and it has more of like a cherry um, color to it, like a deeper cherry. This one is Frenchy, which is another matte finish. I think this is brighter than the um, Bossy. This one's like a true, like lighter cherry um, color. The other one's more of like a deeper, maybe like a cherry plum color. But this one's like a straight bam in your face cherry. Alright. Did I say Frenchy? Yeah. Okay, this is, trust me, this is a matte, matte X finish. This, out of all the reds, I think this one is my favorite. Um, yeah, this one's definitely my favorite. I've used it the most. This is nice, pretty red color. <laughs> I definitely worn this on a few of Money Justin's date nights. See, it's just so pretty. Okay, I've got two more reds. I've got this one and another one. This one is Juju Rogue. It is a matte finish. Oh, I thought one of the cats was in the room. It's just really pretty dark. Kind of like bossy, but I think it's um, darker than that. I guess we'll find out. Huh? Mm. Yeah, it's definitely darker. I couldn't tell at first, but when I put on like a second layer. Okay, so this one is bossy and this one is Ju Juju Rogue. And you can definitely tell that it's darker. It's darker. It's like the same tone of red, but it's darker. All right, this is the last and final red, and then we have a couple purples and then the satins. This is called Bitch It, and it's their matte finish. And once again, this is a deep red. This one's like a plum red. So pretty. So pretty. Is there a more plummy looking one? Okay, now on to purples. This one is called Grind. It is their matte finish. This is like a lighter purple. It's like one of those fun and crazy, like you sit there kind of like, do I want to put it kind of purples? I'm going to start putting them over here. Can you see that? Mm. I think I'll start putting them on the back of my hand. See? It's like a super like out there kind of purple. It's like one of those purples where if you're so used to like putting on the same kind of makeup, same kind of looks all the time, this is like one of the ones where you sit there and you put it on just to like try something new and get out there, you know? I've definitely done that a couple times. This is Back Up. This is a matte X finish. It's a, it looks like it's gonna be a super dark purple, but I think I've actually worn this out a couple times. And it's really pretty. See, it just looks, it looks really dark in the tube, but it's not that dark. It's like a, like a darker sister of Lumiere. Okay, so we got back up right there, and we got Lumiere right there. See that? It's just like a darker sister of it. It's not like crazy dark purple, but it's not like super light like the one before it. It's not even close to the one before it, but you know what I mean. All right, the next one is Flawless, which is a satin finish. 
which again looks really dark because of the tube, but it's really not. I'm just gonna see. It's like a it's like if these two had a baby, it would be that. Yeah. Except this is a satin finish and not a matte or a matte X finish. All right, the last and final lippy stick. And then we have two satins. Satin, uh, ultra satin lips. This is Tiger and it is a sheer formula. And again, it looks super dark in the tube, but it's not. It just looks like that. And then here's a swatch of it. See what I mean? It almost looks like a tinted lip gloss. But it's like a super sheer version of like this one maybe or this one. I don't know. It's like a super sure. It's not super harsh or anything. But you were probably thinking that when you looked at the color when I showed it up. I probably said it's not it's not that crazy. You're probably looking at me like I'm crazy. Trust me. It's okay. Alright, these two are Kathleen Lights' collab with ColourPop. I think they're the most recent ones that she did. And the first one is November, which is like a really pretty pinky nude color. Just look like that. Oh, I should probably use the side that has part on. Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. It's like the perfect pinky nude. It could be like your everyday color, honestly. It would look good on so many different skin tones. The next one is Alyssa, or the next and final one, I should say. Alright, this one's more of like a mauve nude. Which. It's kind of like. It's like if Lumiere and Aquarius had a baby, it would be Alyssa. Perfect mommy nude. She's so good at picking out colors. I'm just gonna say that right now. I don't know. I don't know. I really like them. All right. That is all of the lippy sticks and the two ultra satin lips that I have. I know you're probably thinking that's it. What are you talking about? You went on forever. I know. This thing is probably going to be like 20 minutes long. Don't worry. I'll cut it down. Um, so yeah. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed the numerous amount of lippy sticks that I had. Um, I hope you had, I hope you had from watching me color on my arm. It's going to be a pain in the butt to get all this off. Um, so yeah, go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel um and i'll see you in my next one bye oh shit let's not drop all these that would suck so bad